Hi guys, it's Promise Sebastian here again. Okay, it's another wonderful Wednesday and trust you are having a wonderful day. Okay guys, a lot has been going online about Pizzle Lab and Canva. People have uh, personally reached out to me asking of my view on both apps. So I'm going to be doing a review on both apps based on five key points. Okay, one is their usability, two is their tools. 3 is their speed and flow, then 4 is their export options, then 5 is their collaboration options, okay? Okay guys, um, if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification button as I drop awesome tutorials like this every Wednesday night. Okay guys, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's start um with usability okay you know canva is an online app you could see um, um my data is on now while i'm using the software so it's an online based software okay and you you could see my profile here so i i need my data to be on before i could access canva why pizzle lab is an offline app okay so you see my data is not on and uh, you see i'm on pizzle lab now and all the whole tools on pizzle lab are present here so you could access pizzle lab as an offline app, you could do many edits on Pezzo Lab without having your data on. These are the shape tools, so you could move these and uh, do a, a whole lot of stuff on Pezzo Lab without having to have your data on. Pezzo Lab is an offline standby app, while Canva is online. So, with that being said, um, you should know that you need an account on on Canva. They have a one month uh, pay for it. The free version, you could also use it for some basic stuff but if you really mean business you you would want to subscribe for the premium version on canva here while okay. on pizzle lab here that's not so okay you you definitely don't need an account on pizzle lab though you could also switch to premium okay you could go over here to switch to a premium user move ads you see this remove ads once you click on it it takes you to a google play where you could buy the app you see you could upgrade to Pizzle Lab Pro without an ad, okay. So I that is basically okay. Talking about the tools here, okay. There are a whole variety of tools here on Canva, okay. Here on Canva. So let me just tap on a, a, a design I, I uploaded here on Canva before, so it brings it out for me. So I'm just tapping on the design in here, okay. It's loading, okay. So there are a variety of tools here on Canva, even templates that you could um play around with okay so you see my um design here and these are templates here out for me for me to use so i could just tap on any of them now and you you're gonna be seeing the template here. you see the template is right here so you could just tap on the text here now this is the um image here you tap on the text or the date whatever you want to edit here okay so look at the text now i just tapped on it and it brings up the text um button here for me so i don't need that now so let me just tap on the background and everything goes off now so okay so let's just tap on the background let me show you some few tools you have here on canva okay so this is the background here i think you have the zoom tool this is the zoom tool and you have the duplicate tool you can use that you can use that to duplicate if you want to duplicate I'm typing a whole lot of stuff then you could also zoom with this and then you could write with this also okay i just tapped on that now it's probably gonna be loaded so let's you could also animate with this too okay the two is meant for animation okay i'm not gonna be going deep to start texting each and every one of the tools here so you have your text tool uh, basically you could change colors with the text tool and you could do a whole lot here on canva you could do a whole lot here on canva you could change background color you could play around with text let me open some of the tools here okay so you could change the text you could change alignment you could use uh, up alignment i think this is also for numbers you know when you write stuff you just want to number them and then you could underline the text you could increase the size of the text with this here and you could add effect to the text you could also animate the text i think when you type here you see buttons for you to animate the text and then you could also keep the text in a particular position with this position too and then you could change the color with this you could reduce the transparency to this and then you could link the text also you could also lock the text okay this is a shape i just tapped now so i'm just gonna be typing on the dot there we'll say okay so you have this for color and i think this is for locking so you could lock this now 
and then this um time here is the animation time okay so you see this is color now let me just tap on one of the color let's play around with it okay so look at this black now i just tapped on it you see i have black i just tapped on this now i have white okay so and then you have your templates by the left here you get a lot of templates you have elements you get a lot of elements pictures whatever it is you need it's here on canva you don't even need to this one you don't even need to start going online to look for articles or whatever it is you you want to start looking for okay on the elements here you have a whole lot of elements whatever element you could think of png images just type them and you have it here on Canva. okay Canva is more like a complete database of resources you need for your design backgrounds pngs uh, images just type them and you will get what you're looking for okay and then on upload here you could upload um, your images and whatever it is once you upload them you can see all this stuff I uploaded them and you have it stored on canvas so you could use it anywhere anytime okay you could um, type in text or get text effects also on Pizzle Labs. so even photos and all those things are categories on elements you get okay over to Pizzle Lab um, man there is a quite lot of uh tools here on Pizzle lab there is really much tools you have text on let's move to text you have on alphabet interface here all these things are tools for editing just text and then this is a shape you switch over to the shape interface and all these are tools for editing just shapes okay i'm not gonna be going detail to the sh uh, to the tools one by one okay if you want to know about Pizzle lab and how to use them i think i have a tutorial explaining all these tools on my channel just check some of my videos there then you will have on background all these things are tools to work on background and also here all these are tools to work on background all these up here are also tools um some of them have their screenshot and you have your layer here and some of the tools here all these stuff are also tools to work on some of the layers here and you have your grid you have your zoom here you also have some other tools here which you use you could get quote and you could share here okay so there is quite a lot of tools here on Pizzle lab like let me just touch a little of them so you have your erase tool here which you could use to um actually erase a color you just pick let me just pick a color this blue color now you see the color is erased and let me just cancel and then you have eraser this one is more like a, an eraser tool which you, you just use to erase you could soften um the erase pen to make it less um sharp the edge of the eraser pen to make it to this is more like increasing the feather okay so this that is it for um Pizzle lab there is a whole lot of tools here on Pizzle lab okay. okay guys let's talk about the speed and flow of both software offline softwares are always faster and flows really well than online softwares and at times network glitches could be a problem for you over to exporting this is one thing that breaks me on Canva and I think compared to Pizzle lab Canva is really really far far ahead uh, on that too. so then let's say i'm done with this design which we just played around with here now and I, I want to export it now so i will tap on the file here now and then i'm gonna scroll scroll down scroll down there's a lot you could um play around with here so just click the download that is the two um the two used for exporting here okay so on download here i think i have some variety of options i could play with now i could change from transparent background i could i could compress the file to a lower file okay i think and all this you need a premium account like i said earlier canva it's not free okay you would maximize the two if you're on a premium account okay so you could save download settings for uh, tomorrow then you could download with this icon now but let's just play with some other tools here before we proceed this is png first which they wrote suggested suggested for me so i'm just gonna open the uh, download options here so i have jpeg best for sharing this for image i have png um you guys know is the perfect uh image format for whatever it is you're using online so i have pdf standard here first so this pdf standard means um the normal pdf form you want for your design then you have pdf prints these are mostly for design printing designs okay most of the times they will require pdf version of them and you need it on pdf print which come um which puzzle lab does not have okay then you have xvg puzzle lab doesn't have it also and then you have mp4 for some of the animations you do on canva here yeah. then you have G, uh that is give so this, okay so let's say i want to export i finish this design and i want to export it now so i'll just click on this memory um this memory card looking icon i just tap on it now 
and save as project save as image let me just click on save as image first okay so these are the two options i have here just jpeg and png only then for the dimensions which you have there on canvas so these are dimensions so you could increase the quality like you can make it really high dimension also on pixel app here but that of the image format you just have png and jpeg which is not um commendable okay so that is it for pixel lab and again our um collaboration okay you could collaborate here on pixel lab more like um saving your designs as pop file this is my um background interface here so you could just scroll up now you see this for the look alike i can just tap on it now so you have your project here see this share that is behind them this share icon that is behind them now you just tap on them now you see it's gonna write something for you. You see, it's saved on your folder as a POP file, which you can share with someone else that has Pixel Lab, and the person uploads it to his own uh, folder and open it up on his own Pixel Lab and still work on it. So you could collaborate. Okay, on Canva, you could create a team, a team that could you guys could actually work with here. So you could create a team here on Canva, and also let me just tap on the design. You can share your design as a link instead of having to save as POP on Pixel Lab. You could just share your design as a link and someone could access it on canva you see i'm on the this is the design we just um uh tried our hands on now so i will just tap on the design here and you see this um icon this plus icon here which has my name here you see share design so you could type the emails of the people you want to share with share you with okay look at the emails now so i could just tap on the email of whatever person i want to share you with and then i share with the person right away okay okay so that is all for the both apps okay you did learn something about the two apps drop on the comment section and don't forget to share this awesome tutorial with your friends okay um keep creating and uh see you next wednesday